Welcome back to Warhammer Demons. I know it's been a little while since I put one of these up, but I'm leaving on vacation, going stateside in a few days, so I thought I'd see if I could get uh, maybe three or so of these videos cranked out in one night here. Picking back up where we left off, let's take a look at the Demonettes of Slanesh. Here you got a, a unit of them in front of you. Uh, like every other core choice, these are 12 points a model. They got a pretty impressive movement. Movement six, nice weapon skill, five. Strength's only three, toughness is only three. Uh, they do have a high initiative at five. Two attacks, standard, and those are armor piercing. So your strength three attacks gonna have a minus one armor save modifier. Yeah, that's okay, I guess. Um, I Maybe you can tell by the tone of my voice. I'm These are probably my least favorite of the core choices. Well, core choices that are aligned with one demon. Uh, you'll hear my rant about the Furies here if you watch the next episode. Uh, these are the older models um, that the first ones that GW put out there in the back and in the center of the front. They do have some exposed breasts, uh, something they got away from. Whoa. Things you were not meant to see. Anyway, uh, then they went to these ones with these huge comical lobster claw things. Uh, then the models that most people say are the best, and I, I think I'd have to agree, are the ones that, that they uh, came out with in the Hordes of Chaos. They they went back to having the exposed breasts, and they have these uh, kind of stabby, chitinous looking arms. They went away from the pincers, and you've probably seen the new models in the new, new Demon book. I've, I've got some of those, but I don't have them put together yet. Uh, anyway, I... Uh, I don't know, maybe I just haven't uh, given these these gals a, a fair shake. They're really good against low toughness, lightly armored troops, but come on, what isn't really good against low toughness, lightly armored troops? A uh, couple of demonic icons that you can give them here. You got your banner of ecstasy. That's going to make them stubborn for their first break test. Well, hopefully you're not going to have to take that first break test. And then the, the siren standard, so that if you're charging them, uh, the unit you're charging can only hold. And you're going to want to have the, the herald in with this unit. It gives them always strike first. They're probably going to be charging anyway, so they're going to get a strike first, and their initiative's high, so do you really need the always strike first? I, I just... I wouldn't put the Herald in them necessarily just to get always strike first, but put the Herald in there just for some extra hidden power, because uh, that's what you want to do with these. Maybe take them in smaller units, uh, have them try and come around and, and hit something in the flank. They're not going to be a solid anvil for you with that that toughness three. They're going to be kind of frail, um, and they don't have the high enough strength to really get into something heavy like your, your heavy cav or, or other bigger tougher units uh, but as far as ripping through a bunch of skeletons taking out some zombies or just your some goblins or well, any of the empire core choices besides knights these are the gals you want doing the job all right see you in a few